Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. In this video, we're going to be covering how to set up a simple buy and sell strategy in the Strategy Builder. First thing we'll do is click on the Buy and Sell button right here. And this will open up the strategy setup after cloning our new strategy. This uh, simple template will allow us to do longs and shorts within one bot, and we'll be setting up two different alerts, a buy and a sell. So the first thing we'll do is hit do it now to set up our strategy. And it'll ask us to set up an exchange. So if you already have an exchange, you can select one here. And if you haven't set one up, you can go to the settings screen and set one up there. We have a video on how to set that up. Okay, the next thing it's gonna ask you to do is to check the market mode. If you're trying to trade contract or spot, go ahead and change that. And then we'll go ahead and select our symbol. I'm going to do BTC today. And now we'll click continue. The next thing it'll show us is the alert instructions, and this will walk us through setting up our buy and sell alert. So today we're going to set this up in trading view. So if I click on buy alert, it will tell us to create a new trading view alert and use any indicator we want. So now let's head over to trading view. You can see that I have my BTC symbol selected and I selected it under the exchange that I'm using. And now I'm going to set up a simple RSI uh, using the RSI built-in indicator from TradingView. So we'll go into indicators and we'll find the RSI. We'll select relative strength index under the built-in technicals for TradingView. And we're going to set up a simple overbought, oversold strategy with RSI. Okay, so we want the indicator itself, not the strategy. We're going to set up the buy and sell signals ourselves. So if we go back to Trade Lab, it'll tell us that we need to create a new trading view alert. Um, and then we'll use our indicator. Okay, so we need to go to the alerts tab on the sidebar here and press the create alert button. This gives us a create alert pop-up and then we can select our RSI indicator. Okay, and on the next box, if we open up the data view on the right side, we can see the data view window. This is the fourth button from the top on trading view sidebar. And we can see the different plots that RSI has for. So we can see that RSI is purple and RSI based MA is yellow. If we look at our chart here, I want to, every time that this purple line goes above the 70 line, I want it to sell. And any time it goes below and comes back up the 30 line, I want it to buy. Okay. And so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll select RSI because it's the purple line. And I'll set that up with crossing down the 70 okay and then i'll say once per bar close you'll set this up once per bar close or once per bar if you want it to happen in the middle of the bar okay uh, you also want to set your expiration time uh, usually if you can make this open-ended that's the best way but you need to have a top tier trading view subscription to be able to use open-ended otherwise you have to keep up with your expiration you can set it out about a month or two, but you'll have to come back in and edit that expiration time. Otherwise your alerts will shut off and your bots won't work. Okay. So keep that in mind. The next step we need to do is to hook up trade lab. So if we go back to trade lab and we click on a webhook URL, it'll copy this. And then we'll come back over here and paste that into our webhook URL. Then we'll go back and we'll click on the name and paste that into the name field right here one more time we'll click back and we'll click on the message we'll go back to trading view and we'll clear out the message that's already in here and then we'll paste our message in okay Tr uh, trade lab is generating this message for you so it's already got your symbol that you selected this is our buy uh, so everything's done for you all you need to do is hit create and now we have a new alert in our alert tab for our buy alert Okay, we're going to go back to Trade Lab. We'll hit back on this button right here. And then we'll hit Sell Alert. And we'll set up our second alert. It's going to be the same thing. So we'll click on our webhook URL to copy it. 
back in trading view, we'll hit create alert, and then we'll go to RSI. And for this one, for the cell, we want to do RSI, but we want to do crossing the value of 30. Okay. And then we'll hit once per bar or once per bar close. I'm going to do once per bar close. We'll set our expiration time and then we'll set up our webhook URL. So make sure you delete what's in here and then paste that in. Uh, Trading View will actually save this most of the time. And if you use the same webhook, which many people can and will, you can use the same webhook for many alerts and for many strategies. So you usually don't have to worry about this, but it is a good habit to have to come in here and clear this out and put in the new one that a trade lab gave you. Okay. So now what we can do is set up our cell alert for our name and then set up our message. So if we click on the message, we clear this out and paste that in. Okay. And again, this is our cell alert should be good to go. We got our symbol in here. It's already set up for us. We hit create, and now we have our cell alert and our buy alert set up. Okay. If we go back to trade lab and we hit back, now we hit all done. So we've completed the basic alert setup, uh, and we already have rules that will set up a long or a short. And whenever we hear the opposite symbol, it will, uh, sell and exit. Um, so for example, if we hear buy and then we hear a sell, it will open a long and then close the long. If we hear a sell first, and then we hear a buy, it will open a short and then close the short. Okay. And that's what these rules are doing here. For more information on how these rules work, you can check out our other videos. I break all these down and show you how to build your own rules as well. But for this example, this is everything that you need as far as setting up the alerts and getting them hooked up to the. So the last thing we need to do before we're finished setting this up is decide how much we want to trade. So if we take a look at the trade settings on the right, we can see that we have USD selected and then the trade amount is 50. So that would mean that we're going to trade $50 every trade. We can also change this to percentage. And if we did 5%, then that would take 5% of our available balance and uh, put that in the trade uh, every time. We can also change our leverage down here. So we have one leverage or five leverage, and we can also change the uh, leverage type. So either isolated or cross. For more information about all the different trade settings, you can check out our other video where I go in depth about each of these and uh, what they do. All right, so let's move on. So to finish setting this up, we'll go ahead and hit save and then we'll hit quit. This will bring us back to the mind strategies page and we can see our generic buy and sell combo template. It's searching. That means it's ready to go and it's running. So we would normally wait for a trading view alert, but let's say that we want to test this and make sure that it's working right now. First thing we can do is click the edit button to go back to the builder and then go to the alerts tab. Then press the send alert button right here. Looks like a little paper airplane. If we click on this, I'll go ahead and send a buy alert. You can see my alert that I'm going to send is a buy and I have my symbol set up. If I hit send alert, it'll, <clears throat> if I check this box here, it'll place a real order uh, onto the exchange. When I send this alert, we're expecting it to place an order. So if I check this box, it'll place a real order on the exchange. If I leave this box unchecked, it will run all the rules and tell me that it would have placed an order, but it won't place a real one. I'm going to go ahead and place a real order. I'll hit send alert. So here we can see our buy sell combo template. It says triggered enter. So our long enter rule was success. And we can see that the trade open right here. Sometimes the uh, UI will take a little bit longer uh, to notify you than the trade will actually take to open on the exchange. 
So uh might lag a little bit there, but it does open pretty quickly on the exchange if you go watch it. Okay. And so here we are. We can see that uh, we got a success. So we can see the conditions passed here. We can see the uh, actions that it ran. And we are good to go. So if we just go ahead and go back to my strategies, we can see that we're in an open long. And we can see our open trade right here for our generic buy and sell combo template right here. All right, so we're good to go. And we'll just go ahead and close this. We can send another sell alert to test the orange rules here. So if we go ahead and hit sell and place real order, send alert. Once again, we can see it triggered an exit. We can see the uh, long exit alert right here. Went ahead and sent the order. So if we go back to my strand oh, here, we can see that we've got a trade closed and this is now searching. Uh, so that means it reset itself and now it's back looking for the next entry. All right. And so that's how we test our strategies. And that's how we set up a simple buy and sell combo template. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop me a line uh, over here in the help button. You can click help over here and uh, you can search for your questions here or create a support ticket. You can also join us on Discord uh, and I'm always there to help. All right, thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more updates. Have a good one.